as I'm headed out the door wearing Belle Dress's brand new Fontaine. I have it in the beautiful color Burnt Biscuit Blonde, so let me tell you a little bit about her. Fontaine is yet another style from Belle Tress's Luxe Collection, and boy, do they have a lot of them. The Luxe Collection is that collection with all the bells and whistles, 100% hand tied, full monofilament top, extended lace running all the way around the ear tabs. Let me lift it up so that you guys can see that. Let me share with you a couple of things. Number one, many of the styles within the Luxe Collection would be what I would consider lower density styles. I would describe Fontaine as having medium density. It's not too much, but oftentimes when you have a style with long lengths at the front without any shorter layers, sometimes you get a little bit of heaviness at the front and I am experiencing that. So if you are brand new to wearing wigs, you may find this to be a little bit too much, but if you've been wearing wigs for a while, I think that you would be incredibly comfortable in this piece. Second important thing that I wanted to share with you is that I have reviewed almost all of the Lux collection of wigs and they have been bringing the styles out over time. The initial ones that they launched, I found that these caps were incredibly, incredibly generous. They're all coded as average size caps, but what I have been finding, and I'm not sure if it's my mind playing tricks on me, the most recent styles that are coming out within the Luxe collection, the caps feel more true to average than the initial ones that they launched within the Luxe collection. So for example, with Fontaine, I'm finding for my 22 inch circumference head, I'm finding that it's fitting me perfect. Whereas the caps that were of the styles that were originally released felt incredibly generous. I also wanted to point out this lift, okay? I did nothing to this style. So this is a lift that has been baked into the fibers, all right? You may love it, you may not. What I do find is if I'm looking to move the part, because this has a full monofilament top, that built-in lift, like for example, if I wanted to part it, see? If I wanna part it in the middle, this piece wants to fall back because it has that lift sort of baked into it. So I just want you to be aware, it's something that you can absolutely get around if you wanna part this in the middle or if you wanna part it on the right, all you'd need to do is use some heat and your heat tools to redirect the fibers in the direction that you want. But this lift that you're seeing here is what it's, it comes with. Okay, let me do a turn and I'll show you Fontaine on all sides. So as you can see, it is a longer layered style. It is really super beautiful. And then the back, and you've got incredible hair movement in part because of that 100% hand tied cap, right? So if you're looking for a style that you can wear in half up, half down, this type of a cap construction being 100% hand tied is a great one to consider because you're never going to see the wefting because there is none. And as I mentioned earlier, I have Fontaine in Burnt Biscuit Blonde. It is one of the most beautiful blondes in their Luxe collection of wigs. So as a reminder for you, when you're looking at Belle Tress wigs, they have their own colors specifically for the Luxe collection and a different set of colors for their city collection. And given many of you are new to the Belle Tress colors, specifically in the Luxe and the city collection, I get this question all the time. Erin, what Beltress color within the Lux collection is most similar to Raquel Welch's Shaded Biscuit? So I grabbed Raquel Welch's Straight Up With A Twist in Shaded Biscuit so that you guys can see the incredible similarities between Raquel Welch's Shaded Biscuit and Beltress's Burnt Biscuit Blonde. It's beautiful, right? They're almost identical. All over Fontaine has an average length of 18 inches. The sides range between 11 and 16 inches and the nape, which is measured from here down, ranges between 11 and 12 inches. And then all together, this piece weighs 5.5 ounces. All right, let me take her off so that I can show you the inside of the cap. And if you're new to wearing wigs, do you find how weird it is that we refer to wigs as she? I know I did at the beginning. I thought it was weird. And so every time now when I refer to my wig as she, um, 
I chuckle to myself. Sorry, I digress a little bit. Here's the inside of Fontaine. You've got that full monofilament top, the lace front that runs not only into the ear tabs, but around the ear tabs. If you did want to place tape, you could place it in this spot. You've got a 100% hand tied cap. So there's no permatease in Fontaine. So I would describe this sort of as a mini extended nape. And then you've got bra strap like adjusters. But look at the placement that I have. I mentioned earlier, that this particular cap is fitting me true to average. On the original Lux styles that were released, I was bringing these in quite a bit. So I definitely, I'm not sure if they're responding by right sizing some of the caps to be more true to average because the original Lux styles that they released, certainly the caps were, they were more than average. They were very generous. If you're interested in this style, you can head to my friends at wigsbypattiespearls.com. Be sure to use my discount code Erin, E-R-Y-N-N, -N, 30, to save you 30%.